Well, Glenmore will have Antoine Gooden in goal. Four at the back, Brandon Wallace at right back. Neumone Blackwood at left back. Centre back, Zakari Messam and Anil Headley. Jason White, DeAndre Johnson, Kyle Gordon and Tavon Coleman in the middle. With David Reed and Doreen Watson up front. They're coached by Andrew Peart. 4-4-2 four, four, is what they'll be playing. Of course, Doreen Watson, their main man up front. 16 goals, 9 assists. But look out for David Reed, who wears the 11 as well. Nine goals and 16 assists. He's been a really good creator for this Glenmuir team. And the captains. Zakari Messam for Glenmuir. Damani Miller for York Castle. Getting final instructions from referee Narissa Golson. They to go through their rituals. They wish each other well for the contest coming up. Let's meet the York Castle team then for this semi final. Marka Thompson will be in goal. They two four at the back. I hear Dixon and Travis Gordon at centre back. Tariq Jones at left back. Javon Mills, their outstanding player at right back. Three in the middle, Damani Miller, Rashad Parra, the Caymanian, and Jamara Nolan. And up front, Javan de Clark at right wing, Kamar Knox, very skillful player at left wing, with Kevon Harris, the focal point, up front. And they'll be playing with a 4-3-3. York Castle, as we said, Mills in the... Let's look at the full match highlights then. In this semi-final, Glenmuir on the front foot early. Kyle Gordon with an opportunity to put them in front. He was stopped, well thwarted by goalkeeper Marka Thompson. Weak effort coming in from Tavon Coleman. Here's another look at it. Wonderful save by Thompson. Tavani Miller. The York has the captain with a left footed shot, not collected cleanly by Gooden in goal. Gooden getting there first on that occasion though to parry it away. The follow up shot from Nolan wide of the mark. The goal would come on 13 minutes. Love the ball slipped through by Kyle Gordon and David Reed was on the end of it and it was a fine finish. Just look at the pass. Love the vision. Goalkeeper came got caught in no man's land and David Reed was composed about the finish neatly done 1-0 for Glenmuir David Reed certainly had a good first half brilliant work rate good cross coming from Cal Gordon but DeAndre Johnson with a goal at his mercy hitting it over the top that really should have been 2-0. He can't believe it. We couldn't believe it. Still can't believe it. Javad de Clark with a right footed effort. That was wide of the mark for your castle. And to close out the first half. Then in the second half, this man came on. The 13 goal man for them, Odin Wilberforce. And right away he was involved. That left footed shot weak, saved. And then Glenmuir got their second. Ball slipped through here for Gordon, cutting it in. I hear Dixon got a boot onto it. The goalkeeper and himself couldn't work it out. And it was really well read by David Reed to poke it home for 2 0. His 11th goal of the season, David Reed, second on the afternoon. A second assist as well for their number 10, Carl Gordon. Gordon should have had a goal. Watson with the shot saved and then Gordon hitting the crossbar from point blank range. Wilberforce curling this one just wide of the mark. Definitely looked dangerous when he came on in the second half. I hear Dixon heading over the top from the corner kick. Yorkaster struggling to hit the target. That was a chance, albeit a difficult one for Demaria Murray, what was well saved. Let's have a look at the match statistics then. 
Glitmir, 12 shots, 6 of them on target. York has 12 shots, 4 of them on target. 20 falls committed in the contest, 8 called against Glenmuir, 12 against York Castle. Yellow cards, just one, that going against York Castle. Offside calls, 3 against Glenmuir, 2 against York Castle. 7 corner kicks in the contest, 4 of them to Glenmuir. 3 saves made by the Glenmuir goalkeeper, Antoine Gooden. 4 by York Castle's Marker Thompson. Glenmuir with 57% of possession, York Castle with 43% Position. It's not often this season that we see a defender getting player of the match, but how about today? Yeah, thanks a lot, Ricardo. I'm here now with the man of the match, Zakiri Messam. Zakiri, that is yours. Well done. Good. Good playing. And, uh, let me ask you, what do you think about your performance? Um, overall, was uh, we come into this game, we knew it was going to be a difficult game, but stuck to the coach's instructions. I just tried to keep it, tried to keep it as simple as possible, and everything has just flowed into place. Yeah. What were the coach's instructions to you specifically? Um, just motivate my team. Um, he knows my capabilities. I know my capabilities, and I just went out there and played. Enjoyed myself as well. Yeah, well, you're leader of this team. Uh, you're heading in now to the final. How do you keep your boys pumped up and ready to face whoever you have to in, in that game on Saturday? Okay, whoever comes, we will execute and dominate. Um, we don't have a preference in the team to play, but as you know, we'll go out there, do what the coaches say, and just enjoy ourselves, have fun as always, communicate. Just play some football. All right, well then, I will see you in the final. Most definitely. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that was the carry messing there and his teammates. <laughs>